the shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members, look what we got here. From Home Depot, nonetheless. Just arrived, and what I've got in here is some stuff for our shooting and reloading, as well as some other stuff. So first of all, a set of T-handle hex wrenches. And these are always good to work on our guns. Has metric as well as SAE. And the SAE, of course, is the only one I'm interested in. But you never know when the metric might come in handy. So a set of those from Husky. Then we got a whole bunch of these rubber feet. And you know I've been doing these wood projects, right? That I like to put these rubber feet on. Well, it turns out that when you buy it online, it's half the price as buying it in the store. So these are like a dollar fifty or something like that each instead of three dollars. So I stocked up on those. Don't mess around. And then guess what we got here? This is called CLR and I know you've heard of this. This is what Eric Cortina loves to use to clean his gun barrels. Removes the tough carbon Probably not as well removing copper, but all that carbon really comes out well with CLR. So that should last a while. And then a gallon of carpet shampoo. That's always good to do our carpets. So anyway, that's the one thing that I got in this shipment from Home Depot that's not shooting and reloading related. So what you see here is my 500 Smith & Wesson Thompson Center Encore Barrel. And it's been cleaned the regular way. But let's see what happens when you treat this with CLR now. Now CLR is recommended by Eric Cortina and some other notable shooters who are champions in the long-range rifle game and what Eric says you have to listen to. What this we removes is carbon fouling that's in our barrels and that's important to remove. Well, let's go ahead and run a patch into our barrel. We soak the patch and run it in. Now CLR is controversial because some shooters don't like the idea of running CLR in our barrels. So let's just take this off. Put another one on. We'll wipe our rod off. Put another patch in. And then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes at least or longer. Now it's not recommended that we treat other barrels with CLR. Only our stainless steel barrels should be treated. Now what CLR has in there are some organic or some kind of uh, acids are in there like lactic acid which is an organic acid, glucuronic acid, So that's probably what makes it controversial. 
because basically it's a caustic agent. Well, carbon doesn't come out that easily, so we probably need something pretty strong. Let's go ahead and wait the five minutes. Okay, so you see after five minutes we went ahead and ran a double patch through there and the first one came out like this so it got more carbon out than I got with my regular cleaning because I had a clean patch. Now we've got more carbon so the CLR did get more out. I put another double patch in and you see there's a little more of the carbon came out so what that means is Let's repeat the process again. So I put the CLR into the barrel again with two or three patches, two this time. Wait another five minutes and then we'll run new patches through and see if any more comes out. Okay, five minutes went by. Let's go ahead and run another double patch through by pushing it through like this. And it's a pretty tight patch as you can see. Just get it through. There it is. Let's see what we got there. Aha, you see some more came out. So let's run another double patch through. So there's the second set of patches and you see more carbon came out. So let's go ahead now and run our normal cleaning solvents through and then coat the bore with mineral oil protected from rusting even though we got stainless steel and uh, this is what the CLR can do for us. I'm looking forward to using the CLR on say my 223 or 308 next time I take it out to the range. Yes, CLR calcium lime and rust remover available at uh, Home Depot and Lowe's, places like that. It's used for taking calcium and lime off of toilets and uh, showers and all that kind of thing. We're using it for our gun barrels and it's plenty caustic and toxic but uh, it should do the trick for us in removing more of our carbon and the active ingredients are lactic acid, glucuronic acid, and also antifreeze is in there. So, all of you take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.